Right now, firefighters are working around the clock to gain control of the Boulder View fire burning north of Scottsdale. So far, it's burned 3,200 acres and there is no containment in sight. Evacuations remain in place for certain neighborhoods southeast of the fire. Good afternoon and thanks so much for joining us for 12 News at 4. I'm Tram Mai. We are covering all angles of the Boulder View fire, including what kind of weather firefighters are up against. But first, let's start with 12 News journalist Sean Wright who's live near the fire line. Sean. Hey there, Tram. Good afternoon to you. We are standing in the one major evacuation zone here in North Scottsdale, where as behind me, there's about 60 homes who the people living in those homes have all been evacuated. The homes are here uh, behind me. They are south of where the Boulder View fire is burning. The smoke you see here on your screen is relatively new. I'd say in the last 30 minutes or so, it's really billowed up to what you're seeing here on your screen. Whereas for much of the afternoon, we really couldn't see any smoke at all. Homeowners in this area tell us it was a frantic morning as overnight those flames got higher and closer and closer to their homes. This right here is video we shot earlier this afternoon of helicopters and planes pouring water and fire retardant on those flames. This right here is a map from the Arizona Department of Forestry and Fire Management. It shows just where this fire is burning. At this point, we're told it's mostly burning on Tonto National Forest land. The fire has burned 3,200 acres and at this hour remains 0% contained. This area south of where the fire is burning is home to various barns and horses as well as other livestock. This afternoon, we spoke with one barn owner who says the community has really come together over the last 24 hours. The amount of phone calls I've received on you need help, anything we got, we can help. You need horses moved, you need this, you need that. It's just, it really is a cool area out here and just the support that everybody gives one another is pretty, is pretty unique. Fire officials tell us it continues to be fueled by dry brush and vegetation, along with hot conditions and winds at times blowing up to 15 miles per hour. We also learned from fire, fire officials late this afternoon that the Boulder View fire was human caused. How exactly it was caused remains under investigation. Fire officials tell us they will remain in and around this area with various hot shot crews on the ground to mop up some of those hot spots to ensure the homes behind me remain safe. Now we're going to toss it on over to meteorologist Lindsay Riley and Lindsay we're standing out here. The winds were howling pretty pretty uh, hard earlier this afternoon, but it appears as though the winds have died down a little bit. Yeah, it's going to come and go, especially with some of that daytime heating. Typically after sunset is when we will see an improvement in those gusty winds. But for the next several hours, the heat and the very low relative humidity will continue to be an issue for firefighters. Temperatures right around 110 through 6 p.m. Not anticipating storms in the area today. Temperatures also remaining in the triple digits through 10 o'clock tonight, less gusty after sunset. And then tomorrow, winds will generally be out of the west southwest. We occasionally will have that 15 to 20 mile per hour gust, but temperatures 8 a.m. starting off at 94. So no relief from the heat tomorrow up to 100 on the fire lines by 11 and we will be in the 110 range yet again. Coming up in my full forecast, I'm talking rising monsoon chances for the fourth of July week. I'll have the latest on that in a few minutes. Tram. Lindsay, thank you. With dry conditions across the state, driving, of course, can pose wildfire risks as well. So here are some tips from Tonto National Forest officials to stay safe. You want to make sure that your tires are properly inflated. Make sure that nothing is dragging beneath your car, like exhaust pipes or chains. Keep a fire extinguisher in your car and know how to use it effectively. And if you do see a fire, you want to call 911 immediately. We'll, of course, continue to monitor the Boulder View fire and bring you any more live updates as soon as they develop.